Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Although it's useful to be able to draw a graph given an equation, it's also important to be able to go the other way. Meaning, if you're given a graph or if you're given some key features of a rational function or any kind of function, you should be able to write a pretty good idea of what that equation would look like. That's what we're going to be working on here, writing the equation from given key features. Okay, for rational functions, there's a couple different ways you could write the equation. The first way looks like y equals 1 over x minus b plus c. In this equation, this is one of my personal favorites. It's used a lot for transformations, and in my opinion, this one's more simple than the other. Um, in this equation, uh, b is the vertical asymptote. There it is. And b also tells you the side-to-side -side shift, of course, in the opposite direction. So a negative, instead of moving to the left, would mean move to the right. And then c here tells you the vertical shift up and down, um, and it also tells you that y equals c is a horizontal asymptote. So we'll use that. Um, there's another form of the equation for rational functions, and it looks like this, where you have some polynomial on top of some other polynomial. I'm giving to you here in factored form. The first thing to notice here is if you have a whole, it's going to show up as x equals a. That's the x-coordinate of the whole, a factor that crosses out on top and bottom. The first equation that I told you, this is one that's my personal preference, we don't know inf any information about holes, so the bottom one tells us the holes. Also in the bottom one, you have the leading coefficient numbers a over b, and that's important because y equals a over b is a horizontal asymptote if the degree of the top is equal to the degree of the bottom. Um, degree, of course, means highest exponent. And then another situation might, you might have for the horizontal asymptote is if y equals 0, if the degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom. And the last thing is that there's no horizontal asymptote if it's bottom heavy or the degree of the bottom is greater than the degree of the top. Let's try some. Write a possible function for the information given. Horizontal asymptote at y equals 3, vertical asymptote at x equals 2. Okay, since I don't have any holes, I'm thinking I'm going to use that first equation because that one's much simpler in my opinion. On the top, I'm going to have 1. and the bottom, I'm going to have x minus my vertical asymptote. So on the bottom here, I'll have x minus 2. And then out here for plus c, I'm going to put plus my y asymptote. There it is. That's one possible function for the information given. A lot of people, instead of on top of the equation having the number 1 right there, they'll put a constant like k. But yeah, this will work. Let's try another one. Horizontal asymptote at y equals 3 halves vertical asymptote at y equals plus or minus 2, mm, and a hole at x equals 0. Since there's a hole going on, I can't use that top equation. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, well, let's start with the hole. I know that if there's a hole at x equals 0, that means I have to cross out x on top and bottom. Next thing I'm going to look at is the vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes are factors of the bottom that didn't get crossed out, so there's my two vertical asymptotes. And then I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 3 over 2. So if y is equal to 3 over 2, I have to go back to this, these original three um, scenarios. Since 3 over 2 exists as my horizontal asymptote, it's not the bottom situation. And then my middle situation is if y equals 0, so that's not it either. It's got to be this top case. y is equal to 3 over 2 in my case. It's a horizontal asymptote if the degree of the top equals degree of the bottom. Hmm. Degree means highest exponent. Right now, my bottom is degree 3, my top is only degree 1. So in order to make this um, asymptote be 3 over 2, I need to somehow turn my top so that it's degree of 3. So instead of just 3x on top, I'm going to make that 3x to the third power, because now the top and bottom have the same degrees. So that's it. This is an equation for a rational function that has the given key features. Let's try one more. In this third one, we're given a graph. We're not given a key feature, a little chart or list. So on this graph, first thing I want to look for is a hole, because that'll tell me which equation type I can use. There's no hole, so I'm going to use the first one, where it looks like 1 over x minus b plus c. Then I'm going to plug in my asymptote information. Um, so my vertical asymptote is negative 2, so on the bottom I'm going to write the opposite sign, x plus 2. And then there's my y asymptote. There it is. So graphing rational functions, there's lots of stuff to wrap your head around, the different forms, the holes, the asymptotes. You get better with practice. This pencast, if you want to come back to it, reviews how to write the equation if you're given key features. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had 
No, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're gonna be doing a lot of work. You're gonna be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two picks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>